first corner! Contact again! A fucking battery. Shit's going down. After a crazy week of getting the PS13 back from not drifting in Oman, fixing the PS13 from not drifting in Oman, getting built by Bob over from Ireland, and finally getting on the road, Bagsy arrives at BDC round one. Are you going to point that in my face all weekend? Yes, Bob, that's kind of the idea. It takes a while. There's a familiar dynamic in the team's approach, and it's easy to panic or get down, but it's all about mindset and the way you look at things. I think it'd be great. Everything's fine. Everything's wrong. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's wrong. Everything's fine. Everything's wrong. But a few tweaks and everything is fine. And having almost passed tech with flying colours. Fire extinguisher needs a service. One day we'll pass tech with no problems. Have you ever done that? No. It's time to go out for some practice. You feel like you're going to win practice. Yeah, well, you know, it's, about, it's very important to win practice. It's not just about winning, practice also lets the car have a good shakedown so the team can identify any loose screws. That set screw might be backing out on the throttle body. When you come back in, I can tighten it up a bit. Car's feeling great. Um, I feel like we can maybe go a little bit faster in certain places, but uh, I'll save that maybe for the battles when we have to really attack hard. There's quite a lot of risk and reward out there. But in practice, I don't really feel like we need to push too hard right now. Not pushing too hard is right. Bagsy's practically horizontal. After a turbulent few years struggling at competitions, followed by a year of, well, nothing, for once, it's just sunshine and good vibes in the pits. Don't put that on camera now. Don't be putting that on camera. But joking aside, it's time to talk strategy and setup. You just pick wherever you think is best for the car. And just when it looks like things might burst into life. Do you want to drive now? Or do you want to drive in now? I'm trying to just chill how we, I'm kind of happy how we are. I think he's just taking it easy because the car is working. Everything's fine, so just take it easy. Just enjoying this moment. Yeah. Until everything shits itself. Which, based on testing here at Teesside less than a month ago, is not beyond the realms of possibility. It happened again. But as a final blast of practice shows, things are really looking up. Seems to be fluid and smooth. You know, I think that was a much better entry. Yeah. yeah. They're scoring quite high at the moment for the entry through one, two and three. Feeling good at the minute, car's working really, really well, really happy with it. Team have done an awesome job uh, over the last couple of days getting it to this point. Looking forward to getting through qualifying and then into the battles. Um, I never really massively enjoy qualifying, I just like to get it done and then get into the battles and yeah, fight from there. At the moment, with who I've battled so far, I'm feeling like we've got speed and we've got the pace to keep up and yeah, it's going to be good. Time to turn these good vibes into qualifying lines. It's a lovely day. Not quite on the line the judges want to see. Shallow on quite a few of these clips here from, uh, from Bagsy. Not what we expected to see. You just kind of horrible. I want to try it a little bit harder than that. We 
Yeah. Cut the inside, didn't it? I think he went for a big impact on his first run and it didn't work out for him, mate. Yeah. Give 82.33, puts him in 23rd position. And yeah. up yeah. next. They're being harsh. Oh, We're on our way back. With a rough start to qualifying, the team needs an urgent debrief. You threw it too hard and slowed down too much, and then you had to adjust your line and you never got back on the right line kind of thing. So you're always short on clips slightly. But they marked it down quite a lot. So. You were making the most smoke basically out of everyone. There. I can see that. Yeah. And no tyre left yeah. after one run. Uh, yeah, so first run's done, uh, went all in, didn't really pay off, I flicked too early, I should have waited a little bit longer and I didn't quite get out to the wall where I wanted to be. You probably always feel like you get a hard time unless you win, so it just is the game. And hopefully we can go out now for run two and do a better job. With the possibility of qualifying low, or perhaps not at all, the pressure is on. He's so fucking stop worrying, he's worrying now. Steven Bagsy Biagioni just getting uh, his car up onto the start line, warm the tyres up. Just go out there and do what you're doing on Friday and then win it through battles. But the thing is, if you do your fucking job, you can qualify first. Come on. Nice wild entry from Steve Biagioni. This is looking like a better lap so far. Can he hold it together? Very nice line in through clip four against the wall and through clip five. Look at the smoke coming from the back of Steve Biagioni's car. This is a much, much better run. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. Yeah, Come on. Steve Just got to repeat that over and over again and we've got the gold. Night and day difference between his first run there, Mike. And it shows with the points. 92.8. 92.8. You got a 92. You're currently in sixth position, mate. Well done. Very nervous wait for uh, the second run because I was right at the end of the pack, second but last car to go. Yeah, pulled it together, second run, car's feeling great, so I'm looking forward to the battles now uh, and then just, yeah, work from where we are now. Just enough time for Bob to do some work under the hood. The, the auxiliary belt, or as we say, the serpentine belt, is fraying because we changed the, the power steering pump and I think the pulley is a little bit offset. You know what I mean? So it's just fraying the belt. So I'm just going to put a new belt on it so that way it doesn't cause problems later. And it's time to do battle. Hayden not got much of an answer there for, for Bagsy pulling away. Yeah, can Hayden use all 1100 horsepower he's got available to him? He's certainly trying this time. Steve Biagioni giving him absolutely no time. Hayden as he gets going as well. And with you there the whole time. Wow, masterclass in chase driving there. Really, well done, mate. Well really done. Good, solid run. Okay, what did you say was wrong with the car? As Bagsy moves into the top 16 with ease, it seems there could be an issue on the horizon. Okay, we'll have a check. He said he had a small hesitation as he went towards the wall on entry, so we'll have to have a check over it and see what's up. I think Bob's gonna have a quick look into now. When I was chasing, coming into the wall in second uh, gear, just as before I was about to click third, it kind of just like hesitated, like it lost fuel for a second or something. like a very small lack of power for a millisecond but after that it was absolutely fine. On to the top 16 and Bagsy's dominance continues. Pulling away and Ross has got no answer. Uh, pretty much the same as the last battle uh, mate, just do a good chase on him and you've got this. Uh, we'll have to investigate when you come back to pits. Uh, he had the hesitation again on entry. Yeah. Hesitation on entry. He doesn't need to overdrive. And Bagsy just starting to bring the fight now. He's on the inside. I think that'd be fairly unanimous. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and the winner is Steve Biagioni going through. 
to the Funk Motorsport Grade 8. Through to the Grade 8, but the engine concerns continue. Do you want to worry about the engine and I'll do tyres? Yeah. Yeah. See if you can work out what's up. I don't know what the fuck we're going to do though, dude. Like, there's nothing I can do. Hey, I'm driving. No, I know, he's going to have to drive through it, but... Like. Yeah. Fuck. No idea what he could be. I don't know, a plug or something? transition I wasn't as smooth so I was trying to transition on throttle but it broke up the throttle broke up a little bit right which meant I had to really kind of man, like wrestle it into the transition I think we can drive around it for now but if it gets any worse it could be a problem I have every confidence in Mr. Built by Bob right now so fingers crossed he gets it sorted if you have a broken suspension part or a bent chassis leg or you're trying to swap out parts I am not your man don't call me but if you have a problem where there's a misfire or it won't, you know, like a diagnostic issue, I would be good at that. It's always good to have somebody on the team that built the car. Yep. Because they can get the blame as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. We'll just take it back at a time. Everything looks good, Jim. All right, let's go then, yeah? Fucking, yeah, drive it. Just drive around it and do what you can. This is going to be a very well uh, matched battle. Both these drivers have been very, very fast. Bagsy not letting it get too far away, and wow, look at the angle there. Absolutely fantastic. See, that's the kind of battle that we want to see. He still needs to Dance be a good lead. Right? Yeah, you've still got to do a good lead, mate. He's going to chase you and try and push. He doesn't really seem to have much of an answer. Bagsy on a, a very sharp flick. Yeah, 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 boy. Uh, transition there, Dan Tyler not oh. being able to keep up the pace. Steve Biagio yeah. yeah. puts all of the power down, just drops oh, away from Dan Tyler. Earphones plugged in as well to speak to his spars, but there, show your appreciation for Steve Bagsy Biagioni. Steve, well done, mate, well done. And Dan yesterday's Tyler. winner, Dan Tyler. That's a long way from Arena. Oh, I know, I know that. <laughs> and Steve Bagsy Biagioni takes the win. Bagsy. Bagsy Biagioni takes the win. Got it? Yeah. Bagsy, got it. Mate, mate, you well deserved. You left me off the line. I couldn't even keep it off the line. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Mate, well, well, done. Done. well done today, though, yeah? But there's no time to revel in the moment as top four is looming. And Bagsy's opponent. Against Quinn. Fuck off. Again. History shows that this rivalry can be explosive. Down the straight. Shallows up the angle. Waits for the transition. Bagsy wants to get off. Oh, both guys. Both drivers off track. Both guys fall off track, Bagsy bails out of it. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. <laughs> Shit's going down. You're against Quinn, you've got it. <laughs> you've got it. <laughs> Fucking batter him. <laughs> I will. I beat him at UKDC, so he's gonna want this bad. Alright, looking forward to this one, it should be good. It's so hot out there, it's unbelievable. Yeah, go down a little bit. Not much, like one, maybe like one PSI, Sam. How long has it got? Not long. Minutes. Alright, ready? Good, yeah, you got it. Lock that lad up. Lock the lock. Fuck him up. This is going to be... Yeah, this, this is, is going to be, gonna be the like, fireworks. How are you feeling, Sam? What are you doing Knackered. to me? <laughs> <Knackered>. <laughs> And we are off. Right. Slightly shallow, but oh, Kevin Quinn is right on the back of Steve Bagsy Bagsy, not wanting to get away. Bagsy's is right on the outside of that first hairpin. As Steve Bagsy foot flat to ball, Kevin Quinn there trying to make a last ditch attempt to get on the side of Bagsy's car. Yeah, that was good, mate. Go for like a uh, 3.5. <laughs> Don't let him go all the way too far, but just go for it. Did he make a mistake? 
mistake or anything behind me. Yeah, he made a few mistakes, but he was having to cut quite a lot to keep proximity. Yeah, but he missed the clip. Just tell him he was, he was off the line there, yeah? But don't let him know. Don't, don't get to him, don't get to him mad. Just tell him that. Yeah, yeah. Just seal the deal. Don't let him go. With a range of advice coming from drifts, great and good, Banksy knows exactly how to treat Kevin. Fast they enter in this first corner. Lovely initiation. Banks are giving absolutely no chance to get away as they come through into Cliff Four. Massive dive from Bagsy, almost a backwards entry into that corner. The yes. Bagsy yes. is all over the side of Kevin Quinn as they come through South Bank. Yes. Yes. Wow, wow. That first initiation from Bagsy there, flicking into that corner at that speed, not wanting to let Kevin get away. That was good crack. That was some fucking fun. I don't know, Jim, it could be a one more time. You did very good, though. I reckon, I reckon it could be a one more time, mate. That's all turned up, maybe. We think you got it, Steve. I think you're right. Gotta fake, gotta fake you up. <laughs> And we can confirm that Steve Bagsy Biagioni takes the win. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> 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 well, the third, fourth playoff against Danny Maguire. Bob, he's got it. Get ready to change tyres. We're going into the final. He won it, Bob. He's got it. When um when we go out, can you straight back yeah, yeah, we're literally yeah. tires and go, yeah. Be ready to go. When we leave, can you air them two down to 18? 18. Yeah. yeah. Just so in case we go one more time, they're ready. Come on. I'm buying you lunch for the week if you win, so remember that. Stephen, if you win, I'll spend you more than a nickel for you. Okay, we are waiting for you guys to send the cars. And there we go, Steve Biagioni to lead and Steve McConnell to chase. Massive entry from uh, Steve Biagioni and impact! Impact on the first corner! Wow, I've, I've started to lose my voice already. Yeah, it was a good lead. He wasn't, uh, for the first half of it, he was fairly close. You had the second half, like up the bank, he was no way near. So I'd say do the same again, like uh, three in chase kind of thing. Start, Marshall, and they are off. Steve Biagioni just left reels in Steve McConnell as they come through. again. 
Oh my God. That looks like Stephen McConnell there backed out of that, coming off that last corner. Bagsy had nowhere to go and the contact was made. Beating Quinn was more important. I'm just glad the fucking thing still works. It might not have been the, the finish we expected, but unfortunately the advantage was already in Steve's favour coming into this battle. Fuck off you lot. Oh man, what a weekend. Team, I, I owe it to the team more than anything. They've done an amazing job with that car. Uh, we had parts come in from America only a few days ago. They got it done. Car setup is uh, amazing. Big shout out to Sam and Bob for working their nuts off this last weekend, this weekend. And a big thank you to everybody at home that couldn't be with us this weekend. So many people go into uh, making this team what it is and uh, I do it for them. So I'm stoked just to be here and back on the podium when the car works. Oh. Who do I see about this? Want one as well. <laughs> oh, they're filming, don't worry about them. They're just creepy cameramen. Is this, is this cash? Yeah. <laughs> no way you're that organised, you got it in cash, aren't you? Thanks very much, mate. Appreciate that. It's all good. Fresh off the print, man. Huh?